let's see what this week's spectating brings to the game so welcome back to the old spectating video we are doing another one of these hopefully we can find a big knobby in the game just like we did last time and if you didn't see that one make sure you go and check that out so today we are spectating again and we're actually starting off with a guy called Russi Russi element something like that and he's just got himself a big burfer as you guys know like I said in the last one big burfers seem to be the meta for solos so hopefully we get to the end of the game and people aren't using the big burfer but there is one good thing at least they, they, they patched most of the glitches so like the one in stadium the one in train state kind of the one in train station there's kind of another one in train station but they patched what was originally in train station they've patched pretty much all the rest of the under the maps and wall breaches and all that kind of stuff so hopefully we will have a good game where it isn't just a glitch fest and it isn't just a bertha fest because obviously we don't want to be seeing any of that stuff so we've actually just got down to 60 players and honestly this guy has just been driving around he's got 8.5k and literally nothing has happened so far and just right now is the first piece of interaction we've actually had is somebody shooting at this guy's burfer but other than that this guy's just driving around he's not giving a care for anything in this game he's not even going for kills he's just driving around doing absolutely nothing hopefully this isn't going to be one of them games where it's going to be the burfer only solo because that would just be disappointing it looks like it's the guy with the cap. I to run over the cap, actually, to probably kill him. Never mind. This guy has... He, this guy is clueless. He has no idea what he is doing. He's just not even giving a care for the world for this one. And off he goes again. He's gone and got the kill. Down to 41 players, and his bounty has just turned up to where this guy is driving around. He's actually just stationary inside of the building. So he's got the best opportunity right now to... You know, either drive his Bertha straight into that hangar, or even get out, run in there, maybe even try and attempt to kill this guy. But it looks like he just doesn't care. He's pulled out the bounty and he's just hoping that somebody snatches up that bounty before he gets it. I, I don't know what he's doing, but uh, whatever he's doing is really boring. That uh, he's probably going to get the kill right here. But honestly, he doesn't even deserve it. He's probably playing the most tactically boring game you could probably watch and. The chances are right here, he's getting the kill just because he's playing a really boring game. Oh god, what are we watching? Honestly, I hope this guy just dies, gets run over or something because I can't watch any more of this. So obviously everything you see inside of the video is chopped down to what I can show you guys and I can see on my screen right now I have been recording for 11 minutes and you can pre you, I can just see in my head there's only probably like two minutes of actual gameplay because that is how boring this guy has actually been he's literally done nothing I've been recording for like 11 minutes now and he's doing nothing he's just literally just driving around playing out his RPG trying to get the kill then moving on to the next person and it is the like the worst thing you could do for a content creator that wants to do this kind of video because honestly there, he's not giving me anything. I want this guy to do some 360s, do some backflips, get his RPG, maybe shoot himself in the foot, just something. But he's not really doing anything. I think he's just he's gonna flash himself, so. Where's the bounty gone? Yes! So this guy's actually zipping around with sliding skill. He's doing the old classic slide and zoom in. And honestly, it doesn't change anything. If you're doing this in your game, I understand it's probably old habits, but it doesn't actually make you go any faster or make you do anything any quicker. You're just giving yourself an, an extra action, which it isn't really needed. So this guy's actually got himself a loadout drop and he's got himself a growl and a diamati. And he's switched over one of his weapons to get back. I believe it's the M4A1. Uh, I think he might have just dropped his growl, which I'm not quite sure why he would do that. I would have dropped the Diamatis because they're pretty nerfed into the ground right now. And they're, they're pretty pointless. They don't really do much anymore. Unless you are coming up to somebody with their back against you. Then that's probably the only reason to be able to use them and use them well. He's actually destroyed his vehicle. So hopefully this guy here can go on a little rampage right now. Take out this guy's Bertha. And... Okay, miss a few shots. I'm not quite sure why people are still using the AMAX. I swear this gun has been 
nerfed to the ground and they see nobody use it anymore because it's actually really bad but um i actually think this was it the the m4a1 he's got or the xm4 he's got is actually a better weapon than the amax right now he does see a guy on his radar though is he flying in or is he actually inside of the game You know what? Burfers are taking over, and they just need—they just need to like have their health reduced by fifty percent inside a circle, at least, at least fifty percent, or do something with them so that they aren't as powerful in the end game. Maybe even reduce 50% of the amount of burfers that are actually inside of the map for solos because that will definitely help. And there is a guy on the horizon. He does take his shots at him. Obviously, the AMAX has been nerfed. It's bouncing around. He should have used that XM4 M4 A1, whichever gun it is. I can't quite remember. But it's called the Great Pacific. So that, I guess that's what his mod is on it. And the guy with like the ghillie suit has disappeared. There he is, there he is. And he's been taken down. giving us a thumbs up i think he knows that we're spectating and there's actually myself and one other that is spectating this guy with four kills 11 players left sitting in a bush with with a precision airstrike doing nothing except for looking for a scope and hopefully trying to find somebody which he's just spotted a big berth over there and his best play right now could be to drop his precision on the inside of the map where the berfer could be driving into that is probably his best bet to get rid of the Bertha. Um, but obviously, it's Bertha. It's an M16 user. He's bush camping. You, 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 you can't expect anything more from this. This is peak gameplay for this this time of the, the map. The, the only thing he could do right now is if he goes down to that loadout drop and pulls out an RPG, that might be his only chance of winning against the big Bertha. Someone's destroyed it. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore exactly what I'm saying. He's going to put on his gas mask. He's stuck in the storm. He's not concentrating, watching what he's doing. He's been dropped. Sh sh uh, Longus. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's name is. But Longus uh, has got seven kills, six players there, three people spectating him. And he's, he's looking like he's in a good position to take this W. Or oh, this guy is in a spot. This guy is in the perfect spot. To be able to kill them guys on the hills running down towards him. And just switch he switched weapon to see what he even had. If he had a sniper then even better, but with the way this guy's playing, I I reckon he's just got something like a pistol. Or something similar. I'm I'm really unsure why this guy isn't shooting. All he has to do is put one bullet into the guy, then the guy's just gonna gonna run around like you're You've got a spyglass on an ant. Shoot. Shoot him. He had every opportunity to shoot that guy right there. But he didn't. But he does have a self-revive. So he's managed to get himself back into the game. Maybe get inside of the Bertha. And drive down into the people. That might be... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Somebody blew it up. It is like the final ring and nobody has a Bertha. So that is always a good thing to see. But this guy just had the height advantage. He's also got the next perfect circle next to him, but he's getting shot by somebody down inside the map. But he needs to get out of the storm. He needs to get them plates on, get out of the storm, and is hopefully catch the guys running up the hill because it's him and three of us left. There's one guy right there. Can you shoot him down? Nearly. as close, close. He's still in the storm. There he is. Take him down. There's a guy just to your left under him. Oh, he's got the Mac 10. Easy. Easy. One guy left. Maybe. One guy left right now. He's probably in the map, and this guy's probably going to die. And the other guy's going to win because this guy's been really stupid. There we go. This has been another addition to the spectating players inside of the game. And what I can take from this is a Bertha will only take you so far until you get a bad ring just like this one. So just bear that one in mind. So if you guys have enjoyed this one, hit that like button, hit that comment button, go downstairs, hit that comment. Wait. <laughs> 